Hey, what's up guys? It's Kazooie here and welcome to episode 9 of Skill Into Glory. And uh, the first thing we do in today's episode is actually buy two new kits and also a new stadium. It's something I tend to do almost every single 10 games on my main account. I really, really don't like to play with the same kits all over again. And as you can see from the record as well, we played about 20 games, so I thought it was time to uh, to pick up a new set of kits. And that's what I decided to do. Um, the Away kit I went for is actually the Away kit from Valencia. Looks really, really nice. The black with the orange kind of tint looks really, really awesome. So I figured I would pick this one up. I wasn't sure at the time if it had like orange shorts or black shorts, but either way, it would look cool anyway. So I decided to pick it up. And as the Home kit, I went with the uh, Haas V Home kit. One I tend to use almost every single year. And I just really, really like the color combination of it uh, that's like white, red, and blue in game, which just looks awesome. Um, as a new stadium, I went with San Siro, one of my favorite stadiums in real life. And uh, I attempt to use it almost every single year too, at least for some time in, in Ultimate Team. So I went with that one as well. And after that, we're pretty much good to go. I uh, decided to switch teams because we were struggling again with a freaking injury. And um, yeah, after that, we were good to go. And what will be the first game of the episode? And we came up against a decent looking Premier League side in the 4-3-3 formation. And uh, we actually start off in the second minute already with our captain, Dybala. We're only able to use him for a few games. I think at the end of this uh, division, we aren't able to use him anymore, which is a shame. Because also in this team, he has been playing absolutely amazing. Um, I think we got a chance with him at the start of the game, which went over the bar. Then my opponent got himself a big chance to Adela Ali. Like, I, I couldn't believe it that he actually, like, didn't even put it on target. It was really, really weird. But nonetheless, in the 30th minute, a nicer run here from El Sharawi. I actually tried to pass it across. With a lot of luck, we got it back. And, um, yeah, we do make it 1-0 in this game. So we move it into the second half after a beautiful pass here between Dybala and Alan. Dybala got through a 1-1 with the goalkeeper. Took the shot across goal and does make it 2-0 as well to pretty much secure the win for us since my opponent didn't really create that much in this game he did get himself a big chance at which Shay Long hit the cross but then from the rebound he got a header in with Della Alley but a good save there from our goalkeeper as well then the 90th minute went uh, with a bit of showboating here with a Giuliano I decided to sub him on since I think the center attack he made uh, Banega was actually kind of low on fitness uh, tried to go for the rainbow flick one of the most unreliable skill moves in the game because you just like you don't know where the ball actually ends up it used to be a lot better back in the day like FIFA 11 but um yeah, anyway, uh, we kind of wasted that chance. Still managed to win the game, so um, yeah, I was really happy with the result. Then we move on, what will be the second game of the episode. I sorted out some contracts, and uh, we decided to play with the same team over again. And we get up against a really strong side here. A uh, bit of a mix between some La Liga players, uh, Serie A, and also Ligue 1. And he also had the informed version of Mario Balotelli in his squad. And I actually played against Mario Balotelli, I think the regular version though, on my main account, and I got absolutely destroyed by him. I think like after 30 minutes, I was down 3-0. I still managed to win the game 43, but I was kind of like um, worried that I had to play against him again because he was just so, so good in that game. But in this game, he didn't really show up that much. Um, in the 23rd minute, you can see as well, we got very, very lucky since my opponent was kind of unlucky with clearing the ball away. And all of a sudden, we were actually up 2-0 with the main man as well, Dybala, getting himself another goal. So uh, it was going really, really well in this game, even though uh, I didn't really expect it, especially when I saw that inform uh, Mario Balotelli pop up. And um, yeah, first off, you can see from the stats, a lot of chances for us. My opponent only had like two shots which weren't really like big chances so um, yeah I didn't really create anything first half then moving into the second half start off great here as well with Carrillo nice bit of skill great shot there then from the rebound you do got a bicycle kick here with Dybala would have been an awesome goal there as well to make it 3-0 unfortunately his goalkeeper saved it and um, yeah that is how the game ended so uh, another 2-0 victory for us we scored some great goals and um, yeah, after that, we move on what will be the final game of the episode. Uh, before we went into that game, though, I decided to actually sort out the reserves and the bench. Since I actually forgot to put Dybala on the bench, weird enough. So his fitness was really, really low without even me realizing it. So um, yeah, I played him a few games on really low fitness, funny enough. But he still played really good for me. But anyway, we go what will be the final game. And we come up against a, uh, a Bundesliga team with a lot of uh, lone players there from Borussia Dortmund. Strong players as well in Aubameyang and also Royce. And we start things off in the sixth minute with a beauty of a goal there from Ben Arfa, top corner finish after some great skill moves, and he makes it 1-0 for us. Then 43rd minute goes 1-1 in with Rafael. Then he takes a shot from really, really far out. I definitely thought he was like going through uh, with the goalkeeper, but um, yeah, with me bringing out the goalkeeper, it actually worked out kind of to set some pressure on him, and uh, he completely wasted that chance. The straight from kickoff in the second half, a big chance with Menes hits the post, very, very unlucky. And then uh, in the second half, in general, my opponent actually sort of got back into the game, created more and more chances, and eventually from a corner, he managed to score himself a goal. And I have to be honest, it was a really, really nice one. A volley there from his uh, defender, Subotic. He chested it down, and then just an unbelievable volley, uh, which, he, uh, which he managed to score from. So 1-1 it was. 
Then a 67th minute there. We go through it with Menes. He pretty much goes one on one with the goalkeeper. And then again, a freaking injury. And I mean, this is seriously like getting way too far. Like I was through on goal. I was about to score since there were no defenders left. But then the referee blows in his whistle and says, oh, there's a player injured. Like the only thing, the only positive thing I could get from it though is that it was Aubameyang who was injured. But still like that could have been a 100% goal. And I just don't understand like how this stuff is still in the game. I know I say it almost every single episode, but it annoys me so much since I actually really like 17. But the injury stuff is just the most annoying thing about it. But then here, 83rd minute, we get a really, really ace goal. Yeah, a lot of rebound stuff. I'll take it, though, because I felt that I kind of got uh, yeah, screwed over at the end. But, um, yeah, we end up winning the game, even though stats-wise, it was a really, really even game. Like, a draw probably uh, would have been more deserved. But, um, yeah, that's FIFA for you, I think. But, anyway, guys, that's where we're going to be ending off this episode. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. So, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.